Uh, <clears throat> good evening. Welcome to the Standing Committee on Social Development. We're here today to uh, public hearing with Minister uh, Honorable Karen Cochran, Minister of Education, Culture, and Employment, on uh, Bill 16 and Bill 17. As part of the process, um, there will be an introduction by the ministers. Members may um, make comments or questions. And members, if, the, if we have people in the public, are then invited to uh, make submissions to the committee. Um, at this point in time, I'll ask um, our committee to introduce themselves, um, starting with Mr. Natalie. I'm going to get one. Mr. Blake was here. Gee, sure yeah. Good evening. Uh, Michael Natalie, MLA for Detro. Um, Mr. Frederick Blake uh, is here too. He's just stepped out for a sec. Uh, oh, there he is right now. Um, so this here with me is Alyssa Holland, um, our law clerk. Uh, Megan Welsh is our policy analyst, and uh, Gail Bennett is our uh, committee clerk. Um, at this point, Tom, I'll ask Mr. Blake to introduce himself. Good evening, Frederick Blake, I'm a lead from Mackenzie Delta. Uh, thank you. Uh, at this point in time, um, I'd like, again like to welcome Minister Cochran here, um, Minister of Education, Culture, and Employment, and opening comments, Minister. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Oh. I'm pleased to be here today to introduce Bill 16, an act to amend the Social Assistance Act. The bill seeks to extend the term of Social Assistance Appeal Board members from two years to up to four years. It also seeks to add Indigenous governments to the list of public bodies with whom information received under the Act can be shared. I'm joined today by Mr. Andy Bevan, Assistant Deputy Minister, Labour and Income Security, Ms. Christina Brownlee, Legislative Counsel at the Department of Justice, and Mr. Sam Shannon, Director of Policy, Legislation, and Communications. Mr. Chair, this bill will allow board members to establish continuity and build greater corporate knowledge over the course of the term. It will also allow for more efficient use of training resources, as we expect to see less turnover in membership. The second proposed amendment in this bill uh, seeks to recognize that some Indigenous self-government agreements contemplate the authority to enact laws in respect of social assistance, and this amendment will allow the Government of the Northwest Territories to share relevant information with that. With that, uh, I am pleased to answer any questions committee members may have. Merci, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Minister. Um, is there any comments from committee? If there's no further comments, since there is none, I'll ask committee if they agree to proceed with the clause by clause review of the bill. Thank you. Um, we'll defer the title of the bill until after consideration of the clauses. Uh, clause one, does committee agree? Clause two? Clause three? Okay. So, so okay, no, sorry. Oh, so, sorry, Bill 16, an act to amend the Social Assistance Act. Does this committee agree? Okay, Mr. Blake. Mr. Chair, I move that Bill 16, an act to amend the Social Assistance Act be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration in Committee of the Whole. Thank you, Mr. Blake. Uh, motion is in order to the motion. Question. Question has been called. All those in favor? Okay. All those opposed? Seeing none. Uh, motion is carried. Bill 16, an act to amend the Social Assistance Act, will be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration in the Committee of the Whole. Um, Thank you, and the minister and officials will move on to Bill 17, an, an act to amend the Student Financial Assistance Act. Minister Cochran. Thank you again, Mr. Chair. I'm pleased to be here again today to introduce Bill 17, an act to amend the Student Financial Assistance Act. No, got the right one, okay. This bill seeks to extend the term of Student Financial Assistance Appeal Board members from two years to up to four years. 
It also seeks to amend the qualifications for the post-secondary student representative on the appeal board to include individuals who have been a post-secondary student within five years of their appointment. I'm joined today by Mr. Andy Bevan, Assistant Deputy Minister, Labour and Income Security, Mr. Sam Shannon, Director of Policy, Legislation and Communications, and Ms. Christina Brownlee, Legislative Counsel at the Department of Justice. Mr. Chair, this bill will allow board members to establish continuity, continuity and build greater corporate knowledge over the course of their term. It will also allow for more effective use of training resources over the course of members' terms as there is less frequent turnover in membership. The second proposed amendment in the bill would change the criteria for the student seat on the board, allowing recent post-secondary students to be appointed. With that, I'm pleased to answer any questions committee members may have. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Minister Cocker. Any questions um, from committee? Seeing none, does committee agree that we'll go um, clause by clause review? Great. Okay. I will defer the title and we'll go on to clause number one. Committee agree? Agreed. Clause number two. Bill 17, an act to amend the Student Financial Assistance Act. Committee agree? Agreed. Mr. Natalie. Mr. Chair, I move that Bill 17, an act to amend the Student Financial Assistance Act be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration in Committee of the Whole. Thank you, Mr. Natalie. The motion is in order to the motion. Question has been called. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is carried. Bill 17, an act to amend the Student Financial Assistance Act will be reported to the Assembly by as ready for consideration in Committee of the Whole. At this point in time, we'd like to thank the Minister and her staff for attending. Do you, Minister, do you have any closing comments? I want to thank the Committee for taking the time to work with us. This has uh, been very um, engaging and uh, I appreciate the work. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank Thank you, Minister Cocker. And at this point in time, we'll just have a brief adjournment and we'll bring in the Justice Minister. Okay. <laughs>
Clause number two. Clause number three. Clause number four. Clause number five. Clause number six. Clause number seven. Clause, clause number eight. Clause number nine. Clause number 10. Clause number 11. Committee does uh, Bill 13 an act to amend the Securities Act. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. Mr. Blake. Mr. Chair, I move that Bill 13 an act, an act to amend the Securities Act be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration in Committee of the Whole. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Blake. Motion is in order to the motion. Question. Question has been called. All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. Um, motion is carried. Bill 13, an act to amend the Securities Act, will be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration the committee the whole. Minister Siebert. Mr. Chair, if we might move on to Bill 14, Miscellaneous Statute Law Amendment Act 2018. I am pleased to be here today to discuss Bill 14, the Miscellaneous Statute Law Amendment Act 2018. The purpose of Bill 14 is to amend various statutes of the Northwest Territories for which minor changes are proposed or errors or inconsistencies have been identified. Each amendment in the bill had to meet the following criteria. It must not be controversial. It must not involve the spending of public funds. It must not prejudicially affect rights. It must not create a new offense or subject a new class of persons to an existing offense. Departments responsible for the various statutes being amended have reviewed and approved the changes. The amendments proposed in Bill 14 are minor, uncontroversial, or non-substantive and many consist of technical corrections to a statute. The amendments are of such a nature that the preparation and legislative uh, consideration of individual bills to correct these statute would be time consuming for the government and the legislative assembly. Mr. Chairman, I would be pleased to answer any questions that the committee may have regarding Bill 14. <clears throat> Thank you, Minister Siebert. Any comments or questions? With this bill, seeing none, does committee agree that we'll go clause by clause? Thank you, committee. Uh, we'll defer the, uh, the reading of the t or the title, and we will go. Does committee agree to go group them in groups of five? Um, does committee agree? We're going to group them. Thank you. Beginning with clause one to five, six to ten. 11 to 15, or 16 to 20, 20 to 24. Oh, Mr. Blake. Mr. Chair, I move that clause 24 and the heading commencement immediately preceding clause 24 of Bill 14 be deleted. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Blake. Uh, does the minister concur with this? Uh, yes, I do. Thank you. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mr. Blake, okay. All those in favor to the motion? All agreed? Okay. Um, we'll move to uh, come back. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay, sorry. I'm a little step ahead of myself. Um, the motion is carried. Does the minister concur with this amendment? Okay. Thank you, Minister. Committee to Clause 24 as amended. Does committee agree? So, so committee, let's go back to the title uh, or to the title of the bill. It's Bill 14, the Miscellaneous Statute Law Amendment Act. 2018. Does committee agree that we have, or does committee agree? 
Okay. Mr. Natalie. Chair, I move that Bill 14, Miscellaneous Statute Law Amendment Act 2018, be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration committee of the whole as amended and reprinted. Thank you, Mr. Natalie. Uh, the minister, uh, motion is in order to the motion. Question. Question, question has been called. All those in favor? Amended or uh, opposed? Thank you. A uh, motion is carried. Bill 14, mm -hmm. municipal, uh, miscellaneous statute law amended act 2018 will be reported to the assembly as ready for consideration committee of the whole. As amended, sorry. As amended, as amended. Minister Siebert. Yes, um, we might deal with Bill 15, Document Formalization Service and Notice Reform Statutes Amendment Act. I am pleased to be here to discuss Bill 15, Document Formalization Service and Notice Reform Statutes Amendment Act. This omnibus bill has the overall goal of improving access to justice for residents of the Northwest Territories by introducing a suite of amendments that will improve effectiveness, reduce inconvenience, and lower costs for the government and the public. The Department of Justice has undertaken a comprehensive review of NWT statutes, regulations, and court rules with a view to modernizing and streamlining processes and reducing unnecessary barriers for the public. This review also gave consideration to legislation found in other jurisdictions. The department consulted with all relevant departments, public agencies, and the Law Society of the Northwest Territories before advancing these amendments. There are also a large number of adjustments that relate to regulations, and those are being undertaken independently of the proposed amendments to these statutes. The proposed amendments will provide practical and straightforward options for the service of documents, including alternatives to the use of mail update and simplify processes for giving notice to individuals and the public at large and eliminate unnecessary legislative formalities such as requiring documents to be attested to by a notary, public or commissioner of oaths, for oaths or otherwise witnessed. Mr. Chairman, I would be pleased to answer any questions that the committee may have regarding Bill 15. Thank you, Minister Siebert. Any questions from committee? Seeing none, does committee agree that we will consider clause by clause in groups of five? We'll defer the title and we'll get on to the clauses um, one to five. Clauses six to 10. Clauses 11 to 15. Clauses 16 to 20. Clauses 21 to 25. Clauses 26 to 30. Clauses 31. Thank you. Bill 15, Documentation Formalization Services and Notice Reform Statute Law Amendment Act. Does committee agree? Yes, Natalie. Chair, the Bill 15, Document Formalization Service and Notice Reform Statute Law Amendment Act be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration in committee of the whole. Thank you, Mr. Natalie. Motions in order to the motion. Question. question has been called. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is carried. Bill 15, Documentation Formalization Service and Notice Reform Statute Law Amendment Act will be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration in committee of the whole. Minister Siebert, uh, do you have any closing comments? No, I'd like to uh, thank committee. Thank you. And Mr. Siebert, I'd like to thank you and your Department Staff of Justice to, for showing up today and dealing with these important matters. Thank you. And we will adjourn the meeting.